Hi, I'm Jessica Hobie, and welcome to another lecture from the 2020 Honors Chemistry Shore Lecture Series. Does your rice taste like arsenic? Do you wish that there was a faster way to determine the presence of arsenic in your rice and in other grains? Well, in today's lecture, I am going to cover an arsenic screening kit to test for arsenic in rice for the producers in the developing world. It is inspired by the CNDN article, Simple Kit Test for Arsenic in Rice. I will also be covering other methods in which arsenic is being screened. Detecting arsenic in rice. In this presentation, I will be talking about the CNDN article. I'll be touching on what is arsenic, how is arsenic found in rice, the best ways to screen for arsenic, the good state reaction, the kit for rice, and I will give a short conclusion in the end. The CNN article explains that because rice absorbs arsenic from soil and irrigation water, scientists needed a screen for contaminant levels in the rice. They developed a method of analysis that was the ideal way of screening. Although it was a great way to screen for arsenic, it required very expensive instruments, a lab, experts, and reliable power, called HPLC, ICPMS, which stands for High Performance Liquid Chromatography with Inductively Coupled Plasma Mass Spectrometry. Even though this is the ideal method, in many top rice exporting regions, it is not easy to have HPLC ICPMS. In this article, they stated that there was a four step, hour long process into finding a result for this method. Later, I will deeply explain the process into finding the concentration of arsenic with this method, otherwise known as the arsenator kit. So, what is arsenic? According to the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences, arsenic is a naturally occurring element that is distributed in the Earth's crust. It is commonly found in water, air, food, and soil. There are two types of arsenic, organic and inorganic. The difference is, organic arsenic is attached to carbon and inorganic is not. Arsenic is highly toxic and could result in cancer and skin lesions. Organic versus inorganic. Organic arsenic is attached to carbon atoms and is described to be harmless. It is also said that they could be part of sugar molecules. Inorganic arsenic is not attached to carbon atoms and they are highly toxic. An example of inorganic arsenic would be arsenic trioxide, which is a lethal poison. Arsenic trioxide is very strong and could be used in different ways. For example, the picture in the bottom right is an example of arsenic trioxide injection, which is used to battle leukemia. This shows how dangerous this could potentially be. What effects does arsenic have on us? Some effects on the human body are cancer on the lungs, skin, bladder, and kidney. According to green facts, it can also cause thickening and pigmentation on the skin. Ingesting large amounts of arsenic can lead to gastrointestinal symptoms, such as severe vomiting, disturbance to the blood circulation, and even death. So how is arsenic found in rice? Arsenic is absorbed by plants as they grow. Some plants grow more than others, which means that they absorb more arsenic. Rice absorbs the most out of commonly eaten foods. The picture on the right shows how arsenic is brought to the roots by silicon and phosphate transformers. And what is the best way to screen for arsenic? 
The best type of screening for this is the high-performance liquid chromatography with inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry, otherwise known as HPLC ICPMS. Even though this is a, the ideal method, it is very expensive and it requires a lab, experts able to perform this method, and reliable power. The picture on the right is the HPLC ICPMS and its components, some of which include the ion lenses, the ICP source, the electron multiplier, and the mass interface. The Arsenator Kit for Rice The Arsenator Kit provides an easier way to detect arsenic. The four steps are, first, boil a 5 gram sample of ground rice in the nitric acid for about 30 minutes to extract the arsenic. Once solution is cool, it is transferred to a flask, after which we can use the arsenator kit. Then we add the packets of sulfamic acid and sodium boron hydride, which react with the arsenic acid to produce arsine gas. A filter paper impregnated with mercuric bromide is then placed in the flask, which catches the gas reacting with the mercuric compound to form a colorful complex, H2ASHGBR. The darker, the greater the concentration of arsenic ranging from yellow to brown. The Arsenator kit includes a digital photometer to give accurate digital readings. It includes the color scheme to see how much arsenic the rice actually has. It includes actual materials needed in order to work the kit properly. The kit is a bright red color and it is small and easy to move around and work with. In the kit, there is also a set of instructions to follow. And lastly, the kit can be used for over 420 tests. About the kit. According to UNICEF, the estimated weight for the kit is around three kilograms. The estimated volume is about 0 0.13 cubic meters. The estimated dimensions are 36 by 30 by 12 centimeters. The price for the kit is around 1,097.64 US dollars. The Gutsi reaction. The Gutsi reaction is the color changing reaction after arsine gas reacts with mercuric bromide. This is what ranges from dark brown to light yellow, according to the concentration of arsenic. It is especially used in toxicology, otherwise known as the formation of arsine. The picture on the left shows the scale of the colors ranging from yellow to dark brown, and that is what's based on. As of 2015, brown rice has 80% more arsenic than white rice, meaning the brown rice plant absorbs more arsenic than the white rice. To conclude, I would like to state that although the kit is an easier and cheaper way to test for arsenic, this test has to be done in a well-ventilated room by a trained professional and with proper waste disposal. Nevertheless, this test has also produced less than 10% false positive and false negative results, making this a very easy and reliable source. Lastly, this is my works cited page where I cite my sources.